Hi, my name is Juliana and I'm a nutritional therapist at the Optimum Health Clinic. Today, I'll be talking about the role chronic stress can play in fatigue-related conditions. By the end of this video, I hope that you have a better understanding of the importance of managing stress levels. Everyone experiences stress, both negative and positive, and that's completely normal and part of life. Now, enduring long-term chronic levels of stress can really impact the body, both mentally and physically. So yes, chronic stress and the effects that it has on our biological systems have long been recognized as predisposing and perpetuating factors in fatigue-related conditions. The general adaptation syndrome model of stress response is a very interesting model for us to talk about because it describes the physiological changes the body automatically goes through when it responds to stress. It was developed in 1936 by an endocrinologist named Hans Seeley. His model states that an event that threatens an organism's well-being, what he calls a stressor, and in our modern world that can translate into work-related stresses, financial pressures, family-related stress, these kind of things lead to a three-stage bodily response. Stage one is the alarm phase. When we encounter a stressor, our bodies react with a fight or flight response and our sympathetic nervous system is activated. So our stress hormones like cortisol, adrenaline are released into our bloodstream so that we are ready for the threat or danger. In essence, the body's resources are all mobilized. Then we have stage two, which is the resistance stage. After the initial shock of the stressful event and having a fight or flight response, the body begins to repair itself. Now, if the stressor remains, the body will stay in a state of alertness and stress hormones will continue to be produced and we eventually arrive at the third stage, which is the exhaustion stage. If the stress or stressors continues beyond the body's capacity, the body's resources can become exhausted and the body then is susceptible to physiological imbalances and disease. Of particular relevance to fatigue-related conditions, when we are in the exhaustion stage, our immune system can become suppressed and, for example, a viral or bacterial infection that could have been resolved can instead persist and become chronic, which in turn can suppress our immune system further. And just like the immune system, all of our systems can be affected by chronic stress. Our digestive system takes a back seat and we can develop gastrointestinal issues. The functioning of our hormonal systems can be impaired, so on and so forth. Collectively, this can have a direct impact on the development and perpetuation of fatigue. Consequently, the Optimum Health Clinic model is constructed on the concept of the stages of fatigue and our own approach recognizes three stages. Deep rest stage, which is the stage that is characterized by deep physical exhaustion and the fatigue is overwhelming. Tired and wired stage, which is the stage in which our mitochondrial energy may still be low, but our adrenal glands are working really hard to try and compensate. And in this stage, we can feel tired, but we may struggle to sleep and we may notice that we feel irritable and more emotionally volatile. And the integration stage, we can feel our energy increasing again and we have more capacity to do things, but we, if we do too much or too quickly, it will crash. We recognize that there are different stages of fatigue, which require different deferring clinical and therapeutic approaches. And using this three-step model as a roadmap, we are able to support clients and guide them through dietary and lifestyle interventions best suited to their own stage of fatigue. If you would like more information, you can go to our website, theoptimumhealthclinic.com, and be sure to check out our other videos on this channel.